and welcome back to some more in Drowned. Right, okay, so as you can see, I've, uh, well, I've made some terrain over here. Now, I'm still not sure what dictates certain types of terrain, because all of this is same it, and suddenly there is a little bit of, hmm, this around? I'm, I have no idea how this actually works, because there's no difference between this side and that side, essentially. Huh. Maybe it has, uh, well, not going to pretend that I know how any of this works. Because over here, it has also, yeah, you know, it's a little bit different from, hmm, ground to ground. Well, I am getting fairly close to finishing. Okay, my daughter just coughed a little bit. Nothing unusual. I mean, she still has the uh, mucus and stuff that she needs to cough up, but you may remiss. Uh, just went for... Approximately an hour of walk outside, and that was refreshing. She does enjoy being outside. Now, anyhow, uh, yeah, I've also attempted to drag down uh, a little bit of the dirt over here, because it's, um, I'm not really sure how this works, but I can angle this. If I catch this, can I drag it down a little bit? I mean, I can do something if I do, no, like so, what, no. Like so, and then, uh, I mean, hmm, yeah, I do probably need more dirt, and there's also some holes here that I need to fix. But again, just placing down a little bit of regular stone blocks, and that should fix the issue. Well, I could also just put down dirt, or dirt road, since, well, it's uh, starting to take shape, that it is. <coughs> now, I still have the entire wall that I need to finish. Now I got a fair bit of blocks. Not too many, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna need quite a few rocks, at least to encapsulate this entire area. But I'm... let's see, do I need to actually do this thing? I do, yeah. <laughs> uh, because I can only build a wall over here. Uh, it's gonna... it's gonna look strange. It's probably gonna be... look like an ginormous castle has just plunked down and destroyed the environment around, basically evaporating the uh, terrain around it, well, also creating a terrain. Uh, it could, uh, could be potential for some lore, maybe. Base from space. Uh, right, yeah, I still have uh, <laughs> the mob density uh, packed up to the absolute maximum. Come on then, come on then, come on then. Bats, 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 bats. Look at the animations of the bats, you can clearly see the bite and everything, ah, that's good. Now, I could also just remove all of the blocks underneath here, because I don't really need those anymore, but it's good to have a little bit in case I do want to do something more with the terrain, which I probably could. Some terraforming would be very good practice for me, since I'm not too good at that. I prefer to have things flat, but, you know, it looks... Fairly unnatural, I think. Yeah, there's gonna be a quite a bit of gap around here. <laughs> uh, that is probably a good reason to create a sky base, because that would not change. I think, at least. Unless you were to build something like over there, and all of a sudden there's like a giant <laughs> castle in your way. Uh, hopefully they don't do anything like that, but uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Well, I think that I should place a few more wall blocks at least. Yeah, I also have this thing. Hmm. I do wonder what is the best course of action. How do I actually make something here, per se? If I make something like this, can I? Well, almost. <laughs> Let's see, if we take snapping off. No, that doesn't work. This? Is this working? No, it is uh, not. Hmm. But if I enable snapping on this thing, maybe. Ooh, that was a nice jump. Okay, something like a so. Well, it looks like it could potentially be something. Okay, I'm just gonna attempt. Let's see how this goes, if there's gonna be any gaps. And also, since I have, hmm, yeah, this thing, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, it's gonna be a little bit weird. Then again, I don't really have to do anything too fancy. I could just, uh, Disable snapping, just walk over here, and then I can start placing walls again. Like a show. Yes. Oh, okay, careful not to fall down. Something like a so. Okay, now let's have a... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it should something. Ah, that, that 
does work. Works fairly well. I mean, I could have picked another type of block as well. And then there's the issue with, like, this tree. I can't do anything with that. That I can't, but it will probably look okay from the outside, most likely. Alright, uh, let's see. Wall, and then like so. Can I enable snapping, maybe? 56? Is it working? Yeah. I mean, it is. It is working. Wish that I could do it down below. I can rotate, I can sh shift forward, and that's in order to change the blocks. Oh, I only got 32,000 <laughs> blocks left. How much is that in my inventory? Eh, it's, it's, it's something. Well, it is definitely gonna take some time. I think that I'll shizzle away with that another time. Now I just want to oh, come up and fly. And a fly cancel. Oh, oh almost. And a fly cancel. Ah, yeah, there is definitely a technique there. Now, I think if you also get... Is it... Uh, it's not beasting, it is the talent point that is right over here. It is beasting, yeah. Because if you get that, you can do even more, like uh, gain some more altitude, rather than doing the cancel. Because now you can fly like this, I mean, yeah, it, 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 it works. Almost died. <laughs> okay, so it's not necessarily an exact science, but it is, uh, well, it is a great way to gain altitude if you want to go backwards, like jump forward, fly, and then cancel, and then go like so. Yeah, it is a technique, but how effective it actually is, um, I'm not sure. Now, when it comes to this area, now there's nothing really I can do about this thing. I mean, I could place down a flame altar here, remove this entire thing, remove the flame altar, and then just have a look-see, because uh, there's a chance, a slight chance, that something will happen. I'm not entirely sure exactly what would happen, but uh, something would. And yeah, it would definitely have been better if I could actually build all the way out here. Now, I could just use another flame altar, enhance it, and then nothing of this would be a problem. But I do like the idea to have one giant base in a single flame shrine, or flame altar, my bad. Right, now, I can't build over here. Actually, let's check out the building area that I have to work with. So I could remove this entire nest. Ooh, a nest block. That would probably be something too. Just using twigs, I think. There's potential for something there. And also this thing that has been chopped in half. <laughs> uh, I mean, hmm, hmm, maybe. I, I do wonder. I'm probably going to do some experiments because I can... I believe that I can. Let's see. Let's see if I actually can can. If I just go with like a regular terrain block, jump up over here. Ah, it looks like something. Uh, let's see. Stairs. Yeah, stairs are uh, good. Very good. Limestone. Yeah, there is gonna be. Whoop. Mm, there is gonna be. Ah, no, hang on a minute. Maybe. Maybe. If I do like the zoo. Ah, okay, okay. Mm hmm. I mean, something is happening. Ah, there's most likely going to be a gap. All right. Then we also have this entire area. Hmm. Yeah, I could... Ow. I could build a little bit of a cliffside of foliage over there so that we have at least the mini shrier. Encapsulate that a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of a foliage dome. Maybe even some more of the flower soil. And this area down below that I just, hmm, yeah, there's, oh, yeah, it does look good with all of these entrances. I think that I want to build a maze within the actual mountain at some point. Not, not right now, I got things to do. Uh, right, hmm, oh, but the thing is, like, a new biome, I mean, I'm not too interested in building, uh, anything in, like, the Blackmire, as much as I like uh, the zone, it's not too friendly for the type of builds that I do. I did choose uh, this place because it had a marvelous view of the mountain biome. But that is most likely going to change too. Oh, I wonder where the mountain biome is going to be. Or at least the entrance. I mean, it looks like it's going to be over yonder. Are we going to be able to go down there? Now, we can see here that it's... Quite a bit of red shroud over there, and then there's regular shroud on the other side. Hmm, 
Yes, it's definitely going to be something. I think that the next update is going to... Oh boy, it's uh, it's going to take up some time <laughs> well, to explore everything. Ponder, oh ponder. Uh, there's still that area. No, hang on a minute. Okay, I'm starting to reminisce. Now, I'm quite certain that, that when I was scouting this area, that I looked over that direction, and I do believe that I thought that there would be a swampy area, and a black mire, a mire, hmm, maybe. I mean, I could probably find a clip, but oh boy, have I made a lot of videos. <sighs> uh, right, I, now, I do believe that I started something over here. Now, I kind of want to just shut off this area and do something over here. Now, I do wonder, maybe I should... Hmm, maybe? Maybe I can use some terrain blocks over here, too, so that I will keep this area. Now, what kind of terrain would I want down here? Maybe one of the new blocks. That could be interesting. Let's see, what uh, did we have to work with? Because I've tested these. That's very stony. That's not too stony. Uh, let's have a look-see. Smooth stone road block and rocky stone. Let's try with smooth stone blocky blocks. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a go. Just to see how ooh, things look. Maybe. I think it looks a little bit too good. Perhaps. Ah, uh, like, and again, if this was gonna be the poorer district, maybe. Just a smooth dearth, dearth road. Probably. Yeah, okay, there's, uh, there's potential over here. I think it would be, or I think it would look a lot better with actual, uh, like a terrain block rather than a road block. It would look way more natural, but again, if I want to build some more houses over here, huh? okay, okay. I mean, this is definitely going to be like my main base, even though I'm planning to build something over in the snowy biome, but it's most likely going to be some sort of cabin, I think. Most likely we're going to get some new uh, wood materials, I'm just gonna guess, maybe. At least there's gonna be quite a bit of something. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do like the look of this, too. Looks rather good, I must say. But again, it's all gonna be hidden. Hey, if I just smooth it over a little bit more, I think, what is... Uh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 be gone. What am I doing? What is going on over here? Uh, well, that shouldn't be too tricky. I just do a little bit like a show, and then I can... Now, hang on. Yeah, I can just use this thing, right? A little bit like a show, a little bit like a show, a little bit like a show. There we go. And then it is gone. Sort of. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Not sure if I should add more building blocks underneath, or if I should make it just right. Because this, I mean, it does look okay, I, I think. Some minor weird things going on, like this. Why is this spreading on top of the thing? Ineffective, say what now? Hmm, strange. Yeah, those terrain blocks don't necessarily go too well together with regular blocks. I mean, right here they do. They do create some weirdness around, but that's, uh, that's fine. That's fine, just fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm giving up a lot of real estate when it comes to building. Uh, considering that you, you can build all the way down there and quite a bit up too. Yeah, this could this could also be something. Now, right now, I don't need to add a wall on this side since we aren't able to access that area. Not that it really matters, but hmm. Now, I also do wonder, what is this red area that is probably like you're not allowed to build in that area? Hmm, I do believe so, because there's also a red patch over here, wasn't there? Yeah, hmm, not really sure what that means. I mean, the yellow indicates the end of the building area, but then again, the red is probably you're not allowed to build here, probably even if I add a flame altar down. Okay, and there's a chopper going on, going on, flying over my head. Now, I do also have some more stuff I want to do in the house. Like, I haven't created flying books. Then again, I don't have a lot of books. Okay, who creates books? Is it you? No, hang on, that, no, that's probably Balthasar, right? Yeah, Balthasar, you create books, don't you? Let's see, books, 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 there we go. I mean, I have 17 old books. Uh, so what now? Old, no, old books, collection of books, paper, leather and indigo plants. 
old books, paper. Okay, there's multiple, oh, multiple crafting recipes. Like either you could just have old books or you could actually create them. There's a lot of actuallys in here. Now, how did I create paper? Is that inside this thing? No, okay. In, I presume it's not in that thing. Oh, the loom, does that make sense? No, no, hang on a minute. Alchemist station, does that make sense? There we have paper. Wood and ammonia gland. Hmm. Yeah, I do hope they add some way to just gather up stuff like this, like locally, somehow. Not really sure how you would do that with uh, those mushrooms. Hmm. Yeah, I do enjoy making some farms, so there. I do want a way to harvest enemies too, like hostile uh, mobs, like the mushrooms. But again, those are infected mushrooms. Hmm. Not sure how that would work with the lore. All right. Yeah, this is also an area that has been updated because there's usually, well, usually, now there's a silver chest over here. Oh, yeah, they've, they've done something. Quite a bit of areas. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, test our luck. What do we have here now? Don't need that. Don't, 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 don't. Let's see. Now, I don't remember. Hang on. H, no, J, G, F, Y, plus J. Okay, lore. Yeah, they still haven't fixed the Kindle Waste lore, but that is totally fine. Uh, alrighty then. Well, as much as I want to continue to play and build, uh, since my daughter is asleep, I think that I have to do be a little bit productive, at least put on a batch of laundry and do some dishes, so that my wife will be happy. Yes. And also me. Yeah, I, I need to be a little bit uh, productive. I think, I think, I shall, I shall. Ah, oh, what marvelous game, I must say. And considering that uh, the price of games has gone up significantly, for whatever reason, I mean, even old games now cost more than they used to, and that should be illegal. I, I think it should be. I mean, uh, inflation is a bitch. Uh, but at least I have enshrouded, and oh boy, do they keep updating the game. I mean, then again, considering that I don't have a lot of time to play, I mean, I will not be able to finish what I'm thinking of doing in my main base before the update comes out. I'm very certain of that, but uh, alrighty. I think that we're gonna end it here with a very nice view over the Kindle Waste. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Also fun to build again. But yeah, anyhow, as always, wait a minute. No, that's not how I say it. Uh, I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time. There we go. A little bit different tone this time, but it works. Yes. Remember to subscribe. I'm getting so close to a thousand subscribers. Remember, remember, remember.